So about six years ago, I showed you how to build this homemade Tesla turbine, which I'll put a link to here in the video. That way you can watch the building process of this if you're interested. And every year, right when the winter starts, I pull this Tesla turbine out from where I keep it over by the tromp hammer by the river, and I bring it inside to do some maintenance to it. I kind of pickle it for the winter and get it ready for the next year. And so just about an hour ago, I went out, I pulled this thing out of the powerhouse, and what we're gonna do today is crack it open and see what kind of wear, what kind of rust, what kind of you know debris is inside of the Tesla turbine after six years of seasonal use to generate about three to six amps of power 24 hours a day depending on the seasonal kind of water flow we have and it's really done a great job one of the other things we're going to do here this season is I'm going to add another air input to the system I've only had a very small tromp hammer running to power this thing I've increased the size of the tromp hammer by about fourfold what the old one was and so we're going to put another air input into this Tesla turbine case at the opposite position of where we've got one right now, which is this hole right here. Okay, so I've removed a couple of pieces of the tape I had holding the front onto the case there. Let's see if we can get this thing to come apart for us. Might have to separate it all the way back. And there we go. So here's the inside. That looks relatively clean. Does a pretty good job removing most of the moisture out of the air before entering the Tesla turbine through a couple different dry filters that we've added into place a couple years ago. Let's look at the Tesla turbine here. Let's turn it sideways. Looks like all the blades are still in nice working order. Looks like all the gaps are pretty good. I don't see a bunch all crushed together or anything. You can see the nice stepping staircase design to the outer edge of our Tesla turbine. That's what allows this design to produce power at very low air pressures. Still usable power, something that the normal Tesla turbine with the really nice smooth outside edges won't produce for you. Um, let's go ahead and bring that up to the camera. You can see the patina that has slowly accumulated year after year on that Tesla turbine. I'll go ahead and oil this up before I put it back together here this year get it ready to go for next year. Looks pretty good, let's give that a spin. That well, doesn't sound too bad. Pretty surprised at how long those bearings have held together. I mean, this thing just sits there and spins 24 hours a day and does a really good job actually producing a constant flow of energy for me. Well, there you go, folks. There's just a quick look inside of that homemade Tesla turbine six years after it was originally built you can see how well those laminates have held together, how well that design is held together, and surprisingly, even the epoxy that was originally put on here is still holding together really, really well. If we were using something like steam or something like that that was hot, it'd probably have chewed up that epoxy by now, but because that air is relatively cold, obviously it's not doing very much damage to the epoxy. You can see it's actually still kind of shiny on some of these outside edges, which is pretty neat to see little bits of rust here and there but those laminates are actually made out of a pretty decent steel obviously they're holding together relatively well for six years of use especially with the amount of moisture that was in the system originally for the first couple years until next time i hope you enjoyed <laughs>